Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Chat GPT versus episode 14. Uh, we're going to keep rolling it in, dude. We got the uh, the message over here. Copy and paste it. Pick a number from 1 to 25. Ooh, we hit the jackpot with Pokemon number 777. Triple sevens. Uh, what Pokemon is from that? It is from Alola. What do we got? 777. Why is 777 not showing up? I'm confused. Hold on. Am I, am I blind? Kamala's 775. Mimic you is 778. Oh, you know what? It's because I'm on the Scarlet and Violet decks. Let's go back to, I guess, the Sun and Moon Pokedex. Let's see if it'll give it to me now. 777. Oh, boy. A Pikachu secondary Mimic who wasn't Mimic you. Um, Togedemaru. Is number 777. Is Togedemaru not in Scarlet and Violet? That's crazy. I like Togedemaru. Togedemaru is like actually pretty interesting of a Pokemon. Uh, Togedemaru. Uh, we're actually going to have to go back one step to change this format to pretty much anything goes if I can figure out. Uh, I'm looking for words. Words are hard to find here. Um, I really don't trust anything goes, actually. Hot take. We'll just do national decks. Uh, that should give me some more. Togo tomorrow. Yes. Okay. There we go. So Togo tomorrow is an RU Pokemon with Lightning Rod, Iron Barbs, Sturdy. I very much like Lightning Rod. It allows him to be a very offensive Pokemon. Iron Barbs allows them to be a very tanky Pokemon, and Sturdy allows you to pretty much do some shenanigans if you're trying to do some setups. So immediately I'm thinking possibly Boots. I'm thinking, you know, Boots for Iron Bar, or no, Rocky Helmet for that. I'm thinking Boots for Sturdy. I'm thinking, you know, some kind of choice item for possibly Lightning Rod, which I'm going to say could be banned because of how high his attack is. Speed's actually pretty decent at just being under sub 100, so I'm thinking speedy. But 65. His defenses aren't horrible, but they're not great. Let's take a look at these moves we got going on here. So, Nuzzle allows us to kind of think about that. Uh, the, the, it allows us to think about the whole setup potential with the Sturdy. Uh, what else we got? We got Frustration, we got Steel Roller, we got Sub, we got Volt Switch and U-Turn, we got Toxic, Thunder Wave. I think I like Nuzzle more than Thunder Wave, but um, that's a 100% chance to paralyze. The Thunder Wave is 90% accuracy to paralyze. I don't know why you'd pick anything other than that. Zing Zap, which is his, I think, signature move. 80% chance to flinch. It's not bad, not bad. He also gets Felstinger, which isn't a horrible option. Iron Tail, Swagger, Thief Twin Needle. Okay. Overall here, I'm liking the bulky defensive aspect here, which could mean leftovers, could be boots, could be Rocky Helmet. I'm liking this more Barbie with either boots or helmet. We'll leave the barbs. We'll take boots or helmet. Not sure yet. I like the nuzzle. Um, spiky shield to add into some of that other fun damage type that we can do. Facade, I think, is too much. I'm thinking turn or switch. I'm not sure which yet. Uh, Zing Zap could be very annoying with the flinch chance on top of the para. Sub is too much. Uh, and yeah, this section, this is usually useless moves. I do like things like out of that. So like Electro Web out of that. Pretty good, actually. Um, I think Electro Web in this situation with the Barb Spiky Shield Nuzzle might be too much. Uh, if we take Spiky Shield, I think I'm going to lean towards either Boots or Lefties at this point. And just completely take the uh, Rocky Helmet out of the equation. Uh, I could run Fake Out, could be annoying. Discharge or Zing Zap. I think I like 
Bolt switch here, and I think we'll take, I think we'll take boots. I think I like boots just a tad more than leftovers in this situation. What else do we take here? So we got nuzzle, switch, shield. I'm thinking zing zap, I'm leaning. I'm leaning towards a little bit of zing zap. Um, discharge is base 80 at 100. That's base 80 at 100. Could take T-Bolt as well. 10% chance to paralyze. 30% chance to paralyze. There's weird little things here and there that I'm looking back and forth. We could just take Electro Web too. Electro Web just allows us to be a pain. And I very much like HP here. I like speed. Just put us at like, I feel like anything here is a little bit weird. Um, let's take a plus... Yeah, no, let's take a plus defense nature minus or no, because we have higher. Hold on, let's do this. Let's go back to you. Let's do U-turn. I'm completely forgetting that we have like, no, 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 no. This isn't what am I doing? This is not supposed to be a attacking Pokemon. Having special moves with Electro Web and Volt Switch doesn't matter. That's not the point. So plus defense minus attack, which is fine. Uh, where is that? Plus a defense minus attack. Is that bolt? Yes. So plus defense minus attack because we're not going to even be using attack. So why does it matter? I like the HP here. We'll take, yes, more defense, HP defense. And we'll just be like a pain in the butt, especially with boots. So we already got iron barbs. We got spiky shields for a little bit of survivability. You're going to be taking one eighth plus another one eighth if I can get a spiky shield off on you. Nuzzle, which is just going to go ahead and paralyze you. Electro web, which is just going to be allowing you to kind of like slowly get slowed down for us to be able to revenge kill you later, as well as Volt Switch to be able to get out. Um, heavy duty boots, which is also just like a very good move to allow you to not take a whole ton of hazards damage. You could argue to switch it over for leftovers or Rocky helmet. If you still want to be, you know, an additional of a pain like Rocky helmet here, Rocky helmet, barb, spiky shield with being able to slow everything down. I think I might like a little bit more. Uh, this Pokemon's meant to be a pain. We take the defense and the defense nature to be able to lift some earthquakes. Potentially, we'll check on that here in a minute. And I didn't give Chan GPT the ability to pick a Pokemon. We didn't give it the ability to make the Pokemon competitive last time. So we're going to go ahead, take a look at what Chan GPT thinks that we should do. And hilariously enough, the first three moves are moves we already have, which is hilarious. Um, wow, this is incredibly long. Um, okay. So we're just going to look at the movesets. We can look at the, all the reasonings here as a little bit and as well. So Iron iron Barbs moveset. There we go. So Lightning Rod, Rocket Helmet, Rocky Helmet Leftovers. I think that's a little bit odd. Although Lightning Rod could be nice in its own little section, but it gives you a special attack boost. Allows you to be immune to electric moves, which really doesn't matter here. But then you take a physical move like Iron Head. It's very questionable to me. Uh, I think if you're doing something like that, you might as well take something like Leftovers or... Or not Leftovers, Thunderbolt or Electro Web or something like that. That's not bad, though, but I think it's questionable. Um, Iron Barbs, Choice Scarf with Band with Zing Zap, Iron Head, U-Turn, Wild Charge. This is a very me build right here, but I would take Scarf, Adamant Nature just to be a pain. Or we're taking Jolly Nature with a Band. I think that's a lot more funny. Uh, this is actually not a horrible build, but it, I, th I do think it's... This is way better than the first setup here, but it's hilarious. Um, I'm sorry, that's way too funny to me. So let's go ahead and do the quick little checky, checky, checky here with the calcs of my Togedemaru versus a different Togedemaru. And I haven't cleared this off since the last one, so... Togedemaru... Uh, custom set and I don't think they have a Togedemaru set over here which is weird but let's go ahead go back we'll go here we'll go to Smogon and see what Smogon has Pokemon wise for Togedemaru apparently absolutely nothing oh right because we're in Scarlet and Violet we need to go to 
Wow. Uh, Showdown's got absolutely nothing on Togedemaru because Togedemaru's not allowed in the game, but you can play him on Showdown within different sets. Uh, either way, like, if you can play a Togedemaru, I think this is probably the one of the ones that I like the most. EP14. Uh, and we'll just give it to me. Uh, purely because I feel like between this Togedemaru and... Does ChatGPT give me... We'll, we'll give ChatGPT the benefit of the doubt here. How about that? Uh, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to go ahead and put in this... I think the second set. I think the second set's overall better. This is HP speed. This is attack speed. Uh, both of them are faster than ours. So let me go ahead and import this over and we'll, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, coming on back over here. We're gonna change our results. We're gonna change it from Chad GP or from me to Chad GPT purely for one reason and one reason only. Um, and I will show you that. Do I just put GPT on the other ones or have I just been actually putting Chad GPT? I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, I've been putting Chat GPT for these. So let's go back to our list. We'll go ahead and change you to Chat GPT. For the win on the Toga tomorrow, and one reason, one reason only, that is banded Toga tomorrow, which again is something I've questioned about. I don't hate it, I don't dislike it. Although I think if I was going to change this one to anything, I'd probably make him like, I don't know, tear a goat, probably tear water. Hilariously enough, but with his. I mean, Terra Water, maybe. If, if I was taking Terra Water, I'd probably take Lightning Rod instead of Iron Barbs. But between all of this, like, what else would I pick Terra wise? Probably Terra Fairy, if I had to pick one. So, this is the reason I like the Banded Toga tomorrow over mine in a 1v1. Overall, I think mine is a lot more of like a support nuisance more than anything. This is more of like an actual Toga Demaru, like playing in a composition that you don't need a support. Uh, Bandit's not bad. Running at a 320 speed. Uh, pretty good, actually. Um, I should have probably changed that to 252 attack. So this Toga Demaru with a single wild charge hitting mine, could do up to 30%, which is actually not bad. It's pretty respectable. As well as it gets a Zing Zap, which does up to 27. Also very good. Uh, if we take the attack EVs off of it, mine's only going to do an upwards of like 10% to get out of the battle. Um, if this Pokemon has uh, Lightning Rod, which it, it does get Lightning Rod, but if you decide to run Lightning Rod in this banded set for some questionable reason it completely walls mine meaning mine really can't do much here unless i would take something like u-turn instead of volt switch again very easily to do this toga tomorrow can be both very you know offensive and defensive i prefer the defensive variant uh, especially with rocky rocky helmet iron barbs and spiky shield you're looking at a pokemon taking i don't even know math wise like probably about 15 to 20 percent of its health per physical hit on this thing so you know this guy can hit us with a wild charge that's going to be 94 percent recoil plus the one eighth damage from spiky or no plus the one eighth from was it rocky helmet and then the one sixth from iron barbs so you're going to be taking probably like 50 percent of your damage from this singular wild charge alone. Which means, you know, that he's gonna have to three hit KO you and you can probably revenge kill it if it doesn't have lightning rod with Volt Switch. And I'm kind of okay with that. But overall, I think, I think mine is a better support. I think this is a better overall Pokemon and that's from ChatGPT's second set. So like the video if you like the video, comment down below if you hate their target tomorrow or you hate mine and give me the reasons why. And I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully we get a Pokemon that's Scarlet and Violet viable because otherwise this Pokemon's only ever going to stay in Showdown.